This year makes it exactly 20 years that 55-year-old Ekoke Kitibon Dr. Bola Omotosho migrated to the United States having originally qualified as a medical practitioner from the prestigious Obafemi Awolowo University, Ileife, where he backed Bachelor of Science degree in medicine in 1986. He had a successful career with the Nigerian Navy up to 1995 when he migrated to the United States in furtherance of his medical practice and also had further training in anesthesiology with extensive research work in hematology, oncology and infectious disease. Dr. Bola Omotosho, who has been making Nigeria and Nigerians proud in the U.S., has contributed immensely to the advancement of science in the area of clinical research and currently works with one of the largest healthcare providers in the U.S., Montefield Medical Center. Within the 20 years of his stay in the United States, Dr. Omotosho has clearly distinguished himself as a foremost medical practitioner of Nigerian origin. His Nigerian background, he says, provided the platform for his American exploits. Nigerians are the most highly educated here in the United States. Out of all, including Asia, Africans and Asia and very other countries. Uh, my profession, which is a medicine, we are 5,000 strong in the United States here. Beyond his evident presence as a Nigerian brand in the American medical field, Dr. Omotosho has been actively involved in the local politics and governance of New York City as he currently serves as the chairman of Community Board 5 in the Bronx, the position he's been re-elected into for the ninth year running. Suffice it to say that he is currently the only African elected as Community Board Chairman out of the 59 community boards in existence in the entire New York City and he has over 200,000 diverse population of Hispanics, Blacks, Caribbeans, Asians, and other nationals in his community. Of course, uh, we do everything from budgeting to capital recurrence and uh, housing, education, park space, on and on for the community here in the Bronx. And of course, what I will have done in Nigeria, getting involved in the political dispensation, I was drawn into it uh, when I came here to the United States and uh, one thing led to the other. Uh, no sooner than I came in, uh, I mean, I, was, I got involved in initially being the president of the Homeowners Association, uh, especially in the Bronx at the time when the Bronx was just uh, recovering from the 70s and the 80s uh, that uh, everybody abandoned the Bronx. And, um, and the one thing led to the other. To God be the glory. An alumni of the New York City Police Citizen Academy and FBI Citizens Academy, Dr. Amatosho is also a recipient of the FBI Humanitarian Award, which he backed in 2009. Dr. Bala Amatosho is one of the very few immigrants in the entire United States who have the grace of being singled out for celebration and recognition by the government of the United States at the community, city, state and federal levels in view of their commitment to best governance practices. He has worked with several notable political figures, one of whom is the second longest serving member of the House of Representatives in the United States, Charles B. Rangel, who's been in the House for a continuous period of 44 years. What actually propels him in both service areas, medicine and community? I love it. And I enjoy what I'm doing, saving lives. When I stepped into the world of uh, politics, even though I'm, I do say categorically I'm not a career politician, right? It, I believe it's something that will give me the opportunity to help hundreds, tens, hundreds, thousands of people at the same time, than just one person at a time. However, having said that, if it's only one person I'm able to help or put a smile on their face, I feel fulfilled. And with all humility, that's what uh, keeps me going. He has contributed to several journals and neighborhood magazines, a recipient of several awards and prizes for humanitarian and community service. 
with Nigeria having the largest population of Africans in the United States and New York in particular, Dr. Bola Omotosho will wish that his fellow diaspora nationals always do the needful in further flying the nation's flag. We should be a num the number one ambassador of Nigeria in anywhere we are. We should be the ones promoting the good image of Nigerians. We should be the ones looking out for each other. We should be the ones looking out for fellow Africans wherever we are. Secondly, always look back. What else can you do for the great nation of Nigeria to make it better? No, enough of criticism. Be part of the solution, not part of the problem. He is never cut off from his roots, as even in faraway United States, Dr. Omotosho appreciates and watches Nigerian local TV channels regularly, with Ogun State Television, OGTV, as one of his favorites. And there are several other news media coming out of Nigeria, but uh, the uniqueness of OGTV is the coverage that it gives to New York event, and more importantly, what Nigerians are doing uh, here, when I say locally, doing in diaspora in United States. Welcome to the world of Dr. Bola Omotosho, a Nigerian-American of enviable standing, whose philosophy of life is, yesterday is history, today is a gift, and tomorrow a mystery. From New York City, Adeshino Anidube reporting.